what's up guys, I'm Dr. P and let me show you some insanely cool secrets plus tips to help you get more wins in Chapter 5 Season 2. The latest update added what's called the Shield Bubble Jr. to the game. You throw it down and it emits a radius that is protective and doesn't let anything come in. If you're somebody who really hates dealing with these, the only real counter is to grab the EMP grenades out of chest or floor loot and then just throw them straight at the Bubble Shield Jr. and it will deactivate. This has definitely come in handy a lot more times than you would think. Also, just a bonus, you probably already knew this, but with the Chains of Hades, you cannot pull people through the bubble shield. Science. Sticking with the Chains of Hades here, some of you might have already known this, but I bet there's a lot who don't. You can actually fish in fishing spots using the pull ability of the chains. And I'm talking rapid fire fashion. You can just basically do that thing over and over and just keep looting every fish spot with extreme speed. There's no charges. It's not like the harpoon gun. You just do it infinitely as much as you want, making it really easy to stack up on those shield fish, arguably the best healing item in the game. When you see a loot bunker opening around the map, it's worth trying to find a car to drive over to the bunker as it's opening and then throw the car straight down. You don't want it to go too deep, you want it to be right there at the end where the stairs end and then just blow the car up and once you do everything for the most part will be open. Sometimes not every single chest opens, but for the most part every chest opens, everything opens, every piece of gold breaks and you can loot all that gold real nice and simple. It really helps to make this looting process of these bunkers really quick so you can move on to the rotation or whatever you're doing. Today I learned that you can activate the boss fights while you're knocked which is really interesting to me. I could see this being useful in a situation where say you get knocked and you are about to get killed or your teammates are in a fight. You can activate this boss thing and then maybe distract the enemies a little bit and give your buddies time to come revive you and maybe you guys can slip away. This one's a bit situation not gonna lie, but it's still really advantageous at certain times to know this is even a thing you can do. Speaking of bosses, the boss at the Underworld, which is Cerberus, he drops a medallion which gives you three charges of the Underworld dash. If you use all your dashes, you can wait around and they will recharge while you have the medallion equipped, or you can simply drop the medallion and pick it up, and every time you do that, you will have one charge of the dash. You can't keep dropping it and doing that over and over to stack up the three dashes again. You just have to wait naturally while holding the medallion, but if you're in a pinch, you can get another one each time you drop it to add to your rotation and mobility movement. If you're in a slow period of the game and you're in a squad and you wanna give your buddies the dash as well, just drop the medallion for all of them and they can get the charge. You've got a totally unlimited and shareable amount of dashes. Again, kind of situational because most times you're not going to have the time to drop the medallion to each individual member of your team, but since the dashes don't expire until you use them, you could easily just pass this around, save them up, and then be ready when you get to some action. Let's talk about the wings. A majority of people get the wings and one of the first things they do is fly straight up and start flying around, myself included. Why? Because it's fun, but it's not the most efficient way to operate using the wings. Really, the best way to use the wings is to fly as close to the ground as you possibly can the entire time. If you think about it, it's just simple math and physics. When you're up all the way high in the air, you're exposed to a lot of different people who might be looking up there and you have no cover and you've got to spend a few seconds getting back to the ground. But when you're flying very low, you have things that can get in between you and the enemy and you're not exposed to as many people at one time with, say, a sniper or an AR or something. If you do run into some people who are shooting you, you can simply touch the ground instead of having to spend time diving back down to the ground and boom, you're instantly in the fight. I've also found that a lot of times people just don't expect you to be flying like that on the ground and by doing so you set yourself up better to have less chances of dying while still ultimately getting the movement speed that you're looking for from the wings. It's a simple numbers game. Decrease the angle and decrease visibility. Hey thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it all the way to this point be sure to comment down below the word milkshake and we'll see you in the next one. Come